What's new in your world? Well, I just won the uh, welterweight tournament for Battle for Berlin Belts. So that was pretty exciting there. That was pretty exciting, brother. Yeah. Right on. That was actually, I'd have to say, one of the better put together full blown tournaments oh, in definitely. Michigan to date. Uh, it, it worked the whole way through. Uh, every fighter that was starting finished all the way, you know what I mean? Except for uh, Brett Martin's opponent, but he got injured the week of the fight. So, um, you know, you can't really do much against that. But, but how was that road from the very beginning of it, man? The stress of going through a tournament versus I'm going to fight this weekend, you know? Uh, it's kind of fun because you don't pick who you uh, get to fight. They just, uh, whoever they put you up against, you got to fight. It's a tournament style. Kind of like when I used to compete a lot in Muay Thai as well as uh, Jiu Jitsu and wrestling, you, you have to show up and whoever shows up, you're fighting or competing against. So that's what I like about that. And Plus you have a, a nice belt that you're working for. It's, yeah, it's, it's a nice pretty goal to, to go for. It worked out really nice. Yeah, I asked Brandon, I was like, where are they at, man? Aren't they up on the walls here? And he's like, no, mine's at home. Like, oh, that's selfish. That's just selfish. Should be a team. So I give everybody at home your full name, your rank, like uh, what your fight record is right now, so everybody knows who you are. I'm Joshua Zimmer, um, MMA, 6-1, and one, Muay Thai, 4-1. and one. I also used to compete quite a bit in Jiu-Jitsu and uh, wrestling, karate, Taekwondo and all that. So now I get to do MMA and mix it all together and really enjoying it. Right on. Do you do jits journeys? Used to. Yeah. Right on? Yep, jujitsu. Yeah, I just filmed my first one, hardest thing I've done in a long time. Oh, yeah? Film it. Yeah, because the mat was as big. It was big. Yep. And then there was six to seven matches going on at all times. So. Yeah, they're getting very large, especially if you go to Chicago. I used to compete in Chicago yeah. and Detroit. Well, Brett Spardella doing that MSOA, the Michigan uh, submission only. Yep, yeah. those have become popular. Those are yeah. nice. Yeah, I've seen a lot of them popping up, Indy. You, are you interested in that kind of stuff? Or? Uh, I used to be. Um, I'm more busy with MMA now. And right, it yeah. It keeps me busy. Are you looking to thrive in that then? Are you looking to take this to that that oh, yeah. point? Yep. It's, yep. I, have, it's, I have plans set up to start Take it the whole way, way huh? Yep. Even though we're both going a little gray on the sides, brother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right, huh? Yeah, right, uh, yeah, you know Randy, what I mean. Randy man. Couture didn't start till he was what, 34, 36? That is correct, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, I think it's he's not a big still deal. a champion at what, 46? I think once you're that age, you're raw. Your, your muscles are really just more powerful, yeah, to be especially honest. Especially if you take care of yourself and you do it your whole life. Right, right. So where's, where are you at where you said you're six and one right now in MMA, right? And uh, so what is your goal to hit when you say, that's it, I'm not taking any more fights unless it's a pro fight? Um, next step is probably be fighting out of state. Uh, I need to get some regulated fights under under my belt, so I'll probably be fighting out of state for a while here, and uh, we'll see from there. One step yeah. at a time. Right on. It may come sooner to Michigan than we know. Who knows? Yep. It may yeah, happen hopefully. this year. It could happen next spring. It's, we don't that's know. That's what we're hoping. Yeah. We're hoping so. Well, right on, Josh. Good luck, man. I wish you the Thank best, you. brother. Thank you. Yep. Have a good night. You too.